kwa ukweli kabisa watu hawataki kusikiza in fact watasikia tu hapa mbele they, they just give out i know i know my god will do i know i know my god can do my god can do ooh, ooh, ooh. my god will do my god can do ooh, ooh, ooh. my god will do mziki mziki sana sana nafuatilia christine shushu baji wengi wa kambani nikiwa mkamba pia wako na dramas mingi sana but namkubali will, will buff us mwusi waka it... kitu yenye na define kama we ni mbaya ni kitu yenye unafikiria na unakifanya mm -hmm. ama unakiongea na unakifanya ama unajipata mm -hmm. umefanya ile kitu ni mbaya na unajua vizuri hii kitu ni mbaya kulingana na sheria za za Mungu Mm -hmm. For example kuimba kuimba nyimbo za mapenzi si mbaya cuz mm -hmm. mapenzi pia iko kwa Biblia. Mhm. Mm Lakini ukiimba nyimbo ya, ya mapenzi kuna watu bado mm. akili zao ziko chini wanaona kama ume umepotoka. Of which is wrong. Mhm. Mm mm. So so according to me as long as what mm. I'm doing is right according to mm -hmm. me and uh, according to the will of God. Mimi sina problem mtu hata ni judge aniongelelee siezi siezi mind kabisa Does it mean sai wale wasi wanafanya wanafanya muziki wa gospel wanakuwa sana disappointed na makanisa ama ni aje Eh hiyo iko for example for example unaweza pata unaweza pata huyo mseye anatumia talent yako tuseme wewe jina yangu For example jina yangu ime grow pale nje kwa market. So naweza attract watu wengi wakuje more than pastor mwenyewe. Si unaona hata unawasikia artist ameitwa mahali akaperform kwa nini wanamuita? Wanamuita juu yule jamaa ama yule artist ako na mvuto fulani wenye atafutia crowd ikuje. Then after that anasahau kama hii ni talent yenye huyu mseye amepewa na Mungu. Mhm. And this talent this particular person should use that talent to gain or to get paid ama apate kitu kidogo tu ya kumsupport si lazima lakini at least unafaa kupewa kitu ya kuku appreciate kuna haja gani mm -hmm. saa hiyo niambie wewe tuseme uko na kanisa si ndio mm -hmm. nitoke hapa niko na gari yangu nitoke hapa all the way tukitengela ama mali utakuwa tumalize shughuli yenye tumefanya kazi ni ya Mungu mm -hmm. alafu mimi nimetumia gari yangu nimetumia mafuta nimetumia pesa zangu hiyo kazi ndio ile kazi yenye niko nayo peke yake. Unajua kuna watu wenye wanafanya muziki kama hiyo that is the only business or that is the only source of income yenye wako nayo. Mm -hmm. So it means that by the end of the day that particular person who's more appreciate na kitu kidogo, huyo mtu ameenda na total loss. Again, mm -hmm. unaweza pata mimi mwenyewe naweza kuja kanisa for free or mm -hmm. I'll perform mm -hmm. for free. But I have mm -hmm. a team. I have a team beside me. For example you can have your video director ako hapo your dancers wako pale those people need money na ukisema mm -hmm. kila kitu utakuwa ukifanya for free inamaanisha hata hawa vijana wadogo hawa wako na talent ya ku dance mwingine wako na talent ya video editing or photography yenye unamsupport in future imsaidie inamaanisha hiyo pesa hata yani by the end of the day hiyo jamaa atakutoka ama atajitoa kwa timu yako cuz you can talk to men while you don't have anything You see? Mm -hmm. Sembo mano na watu wengi siku hizi issue na kanisa sana hawataki. Kulikuwa na kulikuwa na watu wengi sana walisema kwamba wale wasanii ambao wanafanya gospel you guys should not demand for money. Mnafaa muende mtoe service, mukimaliza, yeah. What do you have to say about that? Mimi nauliza kitu moja Unaweza jambua we should not demand for money yet the music that we are doing we are not doing it for free for instance do you know kupata audio moja quality how does it cost Zema audio quality kabisa itakukost audio moja itakukost more than 20000 video utakutumia zaidi ya ngirimia tatu ngirimia when we talk about quality si ndio Hiyo pesa utaitoa wapi Mm -hmm. So tuseme una kazi nyingine unafanya. Unategemea shows, 
unategemea YouTube and media pay na una kazi ingine na umeenda show na umenyimo kulipo na umespend pesa mingi kwenda pale what do you do you, you just choose another alternative of gaining income without causing more troubles to pay Mhm. Okay. Ah, uh, Ravas Komozo the times unaona msanii anaanza kuna wasanii tu tunawajua vizuri na mafanzo wanawajua. Walianza kwa gospel immediately after, after wamepata fame, after wamepata pesa wakaingia the other side. That is secular. Eh, nimeuliza most, most of the times unapata kuna wasanii walianza walianza vizuri sana kwenye gospel. Mhm. Mm then after some time unapata uh, wase wana ma gospel wana wanaingia kwa secular that is after wamepata fame ama after wamepata do mhm mm uh, what do you think ni nini hicho ambacho usababisha wase immediately wakishapata fame wakishapata pesa wanabadilisha mm -hmm. from from gospel to the other side Nini uchangia? Ni ni disappoint ni disappointment ama ni nini? According to you. Mimi according to mimi for, for instance sasa niko sure nikifanya nyimbo kama ya secular itaenda. Ni nini ambacho kina ni nini ambacho kinadhihirisha kwamba ukifanya mziki wa dunia sasa hivi unaweza ukaenda sana kuliko mziki wa wa gospel. Ebuni. Ebuni kuliza swali moja. Kuna mziki, ldo sita sema mwenye hiyo mziki, lakini ya meimba maneno na kaveve. Umenielewa? Mm -hmm. Lakini ya mziki, watu walikubali. Kwa nini? Yani, ile, ule mziki haina message kubwa sana. Haina, haina inspiration mingi, lakini watu sikuizi wanapenda vitu kama zile. Na ile mziki mm -hmm. hata kuyandika, hakuitaji ufikiria sana by the way. Ni kwenda mm -hmm. to studio, you just think what will come. Inaenda. Mm -hmm. And again, ukiangalia, ukiangalia in terms of uh, payment Kama the kind of source of income yenye utapata kutoka kwa media Kama umefanya nyimba ya ki, kisekila inatrenda haraka Ni ngumu kwa mziki ya gospel What is this one? Mm -hmm. Uki ukweli Ukiimba ukweli kabisa watu wa wataki kusikiza In fact, watasikia tu hapa mbele they, they just give out Unasema hapana, siyezi sikiza itu. Already, because already the gospel has been destroyed. Only few people that can stand for that true gospel. Ama waneza vumilia, wapati tu kwa gospel, already wakini wapatu waribia. Si mapasta wameharibu, waimbaji wenzetu wameharibu. Unawana? Mm -hmm. That's why unasema, mm -hmm. most of artists wame quit from gospel to secular. Why? Wameharibia wanya, tuko wapa chini. So like saying ni kizima wa maali ya tunasema mini gospel artist, people are not getting me right. They will judge me, wanasema, okay. ni wale wa mbaji, mm. ya wale wa mbaji, you know no? Mm-hmm. Something that is now killing the, the industry to, totally. Okay. For long mm. have, you, have you been into this game ya music? I started music, that is back 2016. And till today I'm still pushing on. I've not yet done any secular and I, I cannot do. Yeah. Okay, most of the times unakuja unapata msani, unapata labda ni kipawa ambacho kiko nyumbani kwao. So unapata labda kwao kuna mtu anafanya mziki vitu kama mm -hmm. zile. Wewe ni, ni kitu ambacho ulipenda sana kufanya ama ni talanda ama ni kitu leiga kutoka kwa mtu pale nyumbani mm -hmm. so, so now when you come back to my background my my grandfather is a musician mm -hmm. he's called Mr. Mailu amekuwa le, uh, lecturer mwingi teachers amekuwa kifunza mziki pale amekuwa musuani high school amekuwa kipeleka adi national school so I hope most of members may, from ukambani waneza kuwa na mchua so that is my grandfather mm -hmm. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. if you look at uh, extended uh, extended side of our family, everyone is a musician by the way. Kama Bradangu oh. is a writer, poetry writer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uncle Yangu is a musician. I have an uncle who is a medisup. 
still a musician so hii ni kitu yenye unapata kwa lineage ya familia yetu hiko so like me i don't me i don't yani me that sijipatangi ati nimejisukuma mziki yenyewe ndo inaniambia ah john go do this then i, I find myself doing it like ni kitu yenye siwezi jitoa is something that i'm working with waking up with working on with each and every time ni kwa na mziki tu mhm mm mm. kuna kuna ile ngoma ulifanya watu wakaikubali sana na ikakupea breakthrough kwenye internet mhm mm ilikuwa ni gani na ilikuwa vipi uli expect so 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 mziki yenye niliyoifanya ika ile song yenye nasikianga hivi na kila mtu hata nikiimba inakubalika inaitwa god will do mhm mm so kuna pala youtube usikize u type god will do by ravasco utaipata like that song is kind of song that nili ilikuwa tunapita town kwa rakati zangu tu za kazi then i saw somebody laying on the ground amelala pale ana mm. chakula ana nyumba mm -hmm. ana kuntegemea mm -hmm. then nikajiweka kwa zile mm. viatu mhm mm then kitu ikakuja idea ikakuja kwa brain like one day god will do na ndo ikakuwa i know i know my god will do i know i know my god can do my god can do ooh, ooh, ooh. my god will do my god can do ooh, ooh, ooh. my god will do yeah ivo tuna ikakuwa ivo like mimi napenda kuandika mziki yenye ni real like what is happening in the in the society is what i do right mhm mm yeah most most of the times kuna watu wanasemanga mimi napotanga mziki wangu kama nimelala mimi naleta yangu mziki wangu na nyanya na nyanya yangu wengine wanasema mm. wanaleta yangu mziki na mashaitani sasa wewe mziki wako unatokanga wapi like mimi siwezi sema eti naleta yangu na shoshoo naletoa na spirit like but according to me is naweza kaa hivi niko kwa gari most of time kazi yangu niko na driver most of time nimekaa pale niko na driver Yes I'm back. Yeah you are back. Continue. Unani So most of the time naweza kuwa nimeketi kwa gari niko na driver then nasikia tu nimeimba like nimeimba tu melody sijui imetoka wapi. Ile melody na yekea verses then ikipata hiyo chorus na record kwa simu then after that I can go get good time listen to what I was singing during that particular time. Then na yandikia tu verse na nenda studio na kuwa wimbo. Wow that's good. Like it's something. Ni kitu yenye siwezi kuwa eti nime plan na kujanga tu unplan sijui inatokanga wapi. I can explain. Okay who, who inspires you most when it comes to mambo na muziki? Mm. Mimi muziki muziki sana sana nafuatilia Christine Shusho. In fact that that lady is talented cause muziki mingi ya Christine Shusho napata ime imeandikwa out of bible verses yeye anaenda anasoma bible mm -hmm. na out of kusoma kwake anaandika anaandika wimbo so it means mm -hmm. that her music is music that is uh, generated from the holy bible mhm mm so ni sehemu yenye nasikizanga sana sana na msikiza juu muziki yake pia ina ina, ina inspire zaidi wow that's good mm -hmm. So uh ni nini sahi kwa jikoni mafans wa expect nini? Eh uh, mafans in fact kuanzia kesho kesho I'm doing a new video working with the Rin Motion director anaitwa Charles. Ya nyimbo inaitwa Asante already kwa hapo YouTube iko na wiki I think three weeks. Mm -hmm. Now from next week they should expect something new from my side. Wow that's nice. Ni nini ambacho unaweza ukaambia mtu ambaye sasa hivi ndo wanaanza muziki? Ajui zile masaibu ambazo wewe umekutana nazo, ajui zile changamoto ambazo umepatana nazo. Ah kuna mtu ambaye anafanya tu muziki sababu anajua muziki unalipa. Ni nini ambacho unaweza ukamwambia mtu kama yule? Mm, to begin to begin as what I can uh, can say is that they should not they should do music wakiwa wa focus na na maneno na pesa. 
Ukifocus maneno na mapesa uh, na hela definitely you won't get that money that easy it's not that easy cuz this media platforms they also have some restrictions for them to get you paid no mm-hmm. kama youtube lazima ufikishe subscribers on 1000 and 4000 mm-hmm. hours within a year something which mm-hmm. is ethic problem uh, problematic to get those views so kingele mziki na eti na pupa ya pesa kesho nitapata kesho eti nitakuwa celeb my friend you will end up getting mm-hmm. into a quantum eye or a predicament so you better walk slowly 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 pole 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 mm-hmm. bora kila siku na unafikiria kitu kipya kitu kipya kitu kipya you will end up getting mm-hmm. up there mm. Okay, umesema Christina Shusho ndo yule mtu ambaye uku inspire sana. What of uh, ukambani? Who inspires you most? Ukambani, we have so many singers. Though waimbaji wengi wa ukambani nikiwa mkamba pia wako na dramas mingi sana. But na mkubali will be for smooth. Okay, it's somebody who does true music. Yule mse ana kiki. Ana kiki kabisa. Lakini mziki yake mm-hmm. ukisikiza it's something that is a now as good message another person is the john k you are matu ule mm-hmm. ule mbaji napenda wimba eh, nyimbo zake kwa sababu yule mtu anaandika wimbo unafikiria huyu mtu alikuwa anafikiria nini unaona like for example kuna nyimbo ameandika kuhusu kuku na ba, uh, na bata like you find kuku ime mix na bata unajiuliza huyu mtu alifikiria nini Kuku ime mix na bata alifikiria nini hapo. Na out of that anaandika a good information something is uh, something that is teaching the community and yenye iko sawa. Na apendi hizo dramas mingi sijui ana dance wa kiruka a a. Anafanya muziki mzuri kabisa. Wow, that's good. Mm. Ah, yapatia mapatia ma fans your social media handles tukimalizia. Eh pale YouTube what a search Ravasco music facebook ni ravasco joni musili mm-hmm. tiktok mm-hmm. ni ravasco music mm-hmm. instagram ni ravasco underscore joni that's where they can get my music and i'll mm-hmm. i'll do appreciate seeing them taking my music away because uh, much ahead because without them definitely i can get i cannot be here but wakinishikilia kesho utakuwa mm-hmm. bigi and we do appreciate God together. Thank you. Wow, that that's good. Okay, ningependa kujua kwa kila kwa kila jambo lazima kuna changamoto. Na how do you overcome hizo changamoto maana we we all know wasanii wanapitia sana changamoto. What what I usually do is that I work on my pace. Mimi na nafanyanga vitu kulingana na pace yenye iko na time yenye niko nayo. I don't push anything because once you push something to happen definitely you end up getting heartbroken but if that thing is happening naturally in yourself and you are in your brain definitely you will see you usually see things happening 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 even to me me nachukulianga vitu easier i live right now si live about kesho na kaa saa hii saa hii ni nini nafaa kufanya Niko na dakika kama 10 naweza andika muziki, naweza enda studio, naweza fanya hiki, naweza fanya hiki ni kizuri, hiki ni kibaya sikifanyi. Na ikifika mimi mm-hmm. kitu zaidi na nisaidia ni like in a 24 days naweza kuwa na kitabu yangu, na kuwa na notebook yangu. Na kaa hivi na highlight vitu zenye nimefanya kwa hiyo siku. Hizi vitu zenye mm-hmm. nimefanya positive ni ngapi ni 10, negatives ni ngapi ni 5. Hiyo siku niko sawa. Lakini hizi siku yenye naenda nikae chini nipate niko na negatives 10 na positives ni, ta, ni tano, lazima ninajiuliza kwa nini nilifanya hiyo kitu so kesho hiyo kitu siwezi rudia that's what wow i usually follow okay does music pay muziki nalipa eh muziki nalipa zaidi muziki nalipa ninalipa wow that's nice eh so kile kitu yenye iko ina determine na risk yenye unachukulia if you get great risk the in- income might be great if mm-hmm. you take a little uh, risk definitely what you will get out of that utapata kitu kidogo ni kama kwenda kupanda kwa shamba umepanda eka 10 chenye utavuta utavuna kutoka kwa eka 10 hawezi linganisha na mtu mwenye amepanda eka moja 
Ziki na achia new project next week. A video. Okay, kuna kuna mtu labda pale nyumbani anajiuliza akitaka ku collaborate na wewe. What are the requirements? Requirements kitu ya kwanza ni nitakuja tunaweza onana na yeye ama tuongee kwa simu. Lakini via your communication is when, what I'll determine whether you are serious in that thing. And an advantage yenye niko nayo nimefanya psychology. So nikikusikiza ukiniongelesha mtajua uko serious au uko serious mimi siwezi kuitisha hela these things tumepatwa italanda free give it out free saidiwa nitakusaidia free lakini bora kuwe unajua ni nini unachokihitaji si eti unanipigia simu shughuli za mzamza unajua kuna watu wanafanya issues za mzamza na pia lazima nijue tabia zako kuna watu unaweza fanya saa hii mziki na yeye kesho unamsikia kwa scandal unaona so pia karakta ya mtu na tabia za mtu pia na, naangalia anga sana. How do you protect yourself na na hizo scandals? Scandals for example like right now hata sasa hivi ukiona sasa yenye niko hapa niko kwa nyumba. Nimetoka kazi nimeingia kwa nyumba so I can stay here na amani like when you mingle with a, a lot of brains ama watu wengi definitely the money is ingia kwa madhambi ama kwa issues nyingine za scandals so you limit your circle oh that's nice thanks for having you okay thank you welcome i do appreciate for this and yeah so so guys make sure you subscribe daniel the kings online tv we always keep you updated and time and moment yeah, like, okay. sisi kazi yetu ni kuleta like, wasanii munasikiza Alafu mnatupa maoni yenu chini kwenye comment section. Wale wa TikTok, I'll still make sure I upload these videos. So make sure umefuatilia vizuri uweze kusikiza kile ambacho tumeweza kuzungumza. Until next time. Bye bye.